Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of our virtual community kitchen. I'm Nori Milton, a maternal child health worker here in Prince George for Carrier County. I just want to take a moment to acknowledge the land that we're on of the Clately Tanay and that we are so honored and privileged to be able to share this beautiful land together. Today I have joining me my daughter Alila and today we are going to attempt to make a brand new recipe that we have never made together before. So hopefully it turns out it is uh, penne carbonara. So I just want to do a simple introduction of all of the ingredients that we need. Um, it's a pretty simple recipe. Hopefully we don't mess it up. Hey, Lily. So we need, I have here a bowl of pre-cooked, um, a kilogram of um, pasta penne. I have a kilogram of chopped up bacon. I have saved a cup and a half of our starch water from cooking our penne. We've got some Parmesan for sprinkling on our penne when we're done. I have some grated Parmesan to add to our sauce, some basil, pepper. Um, then we have separated four egg yolks, and then we have two whole eggs and a cup of milk. And we're gonna begin by sauteing our bacon in a pan. So I have a cast iron skillet. You can use any kind of frying pan you want. We're gonna saute our bacon. I like to start on a cool pan. It just fries the bacon up better. I'm gonna add our kg of bacon in here. Can you scrape that in there, Lily? And then we are gonna reduce this down and cook it for probably seven to 10 minutes. It might take a little a bit longer simply because we have so much bacon in one pan. Okay, so Lila is sauteing the bacon in the background and I'm gonna to put together the sauce while she's doing that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our four egg yolks and we are going to put them in a bowl. And then we're gonna add our two whole eggs to those egg yolks. We have about a teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna add that there. Um, one cup of Parmigiano or Reggiano. Um, and then we are going to mix this up a little bit with our whisk. I'm not gonna add a lot of salt to this because I figure there's so much bacon in there already, we don't really need to add salt. We're going to, I've reserved a cup and a half of our starch water that we're gonna add to the eggs. That's just gonna help this stick to the penne. And then we also got a cup of Cream. I said, I think be, I originally said milk, but this is heavy cream that we're going to add to there. So this is going to be our sauce for our carbonara, and we will add it once the bacon is completely cooked. So Alila and I have sauteed this bacon, and one thing that we've learned from this recipe is when you're using a kilogram of bacon, you need a large enough pan. So my my cast iron skillet was not large enough to cook it as fast from the seven to 10 minutes that it, that it required. And it took more like 15 to 20 to cook it down. But now I've um, helped Alila and we have removed a lot of the bacon fat. We've left a little bit in there and it's gonna be transferred to our pasta that was pre-cooked so that it adds to part of the flavor. So I'm just going to turn off this element here. Excuse me, Lenny, because it's very hot. Honey. Let's stick it in with our penne. Put this aside for now. And we will just mix this up in the pan. Whoa. In the pan. So we have the sauce that we pre-made already and we're just gonna add it to our, I actually put the penne in a, in a wok because I needed a bigger container. So we're just gonna pour this over. Make sure we get all that cheese out of the bowl. I'm just gonna stir that up. It's creamy. Now this recipe is pretty basic, but you can make substitutes. You could add cut up chicken. 
Um, a lot of carbonara recipes call for frozen peas or sliced mushrooms. What I would probably do is um, put them in a bowl on the side, make the base. Some, if you have picky eaters, then they can choose what they want to put in it. Um, so this is our pasta. We're just going to sprinkle the top with a little fresh Parmesan. There we go. And garnish it with some basil. Cut up basil. And that is our um, bacon carbonara. We'll come back in a second and we'll allow Lila to test it and let us know what she thinks. So Lila's gonna be our taste tester. What do you think, babe? Hmm, not too shabby. Let's take this show on the road. 